What to do, friends and family? Uh, Borchin and I, we're on our way to go see our good friend Ricky. So our friend Ricky, he's actually into what's called functional patterns. Now, a couple years ago, when I got into my back injury and my knee injury, all sorts of things, I've tried all sorts of therapies and practices for healing, and some things have helped, some things haven't. But Ricky kind of came along and introduced me to this idea of functional patterns, and it's been really helpful for me to understand my body better. It's really helped me in my healing process. So I wanted you guys to hear from him because he's got a lot of wisdom that I feel like you guys need to hear. And plus, well, it's Wednesday. My name is Ricky Nader and I am a functional pattern practitioner. Functional patterns is a new system that's connecting people back to their human biomechanics and how to optimize their ability to function as a human better. Well, I got into it because I suffered a very tragic incident when I was in Iraq. Oh, okay. I'm a staff sergeant in the Army National Guard and I suffered an injury in Iraq. I uh, fractured my spine. I went through a lot of different types of therapies to try to fix me. So I had literally hit a wall to where I was like, the doctors were like, this is what you're gonna have to live like for the rest of your life. I was walking with a cane. My fiance would have to try to help me get out of bed, put my shoes on, get in and out of the tub. It was a, a very terrible lifestyle. And I'm also a professional dancer. So my life was literally going down a, a very dark path. So I was like, you know what? What am I gonna lose by trying this stuff that's free? What would be the difference, the big difference of functional patterns? Functional patterns, as I was saying, is a way to optimize you as a human species. At the end of the day, we are an animal, right? And every animal has specific characteristics on how they should be moving. We as humans, we evolved into being walkers, runners, and throwers as a means of survival. As of late, the last maybe 100 years, we've developed a system that says, okay, to be strong, you have to squat, you have to bench press, you have to deadlift, you have to do all these movements that are not a priority as a human. All of these aesthetic goals that I, that I was trying to reach in my early 20s, into my 30s now mean nothing because I live in pain and now I have to supplement myself with all these drugs and you know different modalities. The type of exercises that we do because we're chasing aesthetics is not conducive to the way us as an organism should be moving. So in functional patterns, we first look at the human structure. Our number one function is to walk. So we teach people how to walk better. And as silly as that sounds, if you can't walk very well, then you can't perform many other functions. Our priority is to function as a human and not everything else that society and the fitness industry is trying to force feed us because of aesthetics. Aesthetics will come regardless. The human body has to adapt to that, but it's not our priority, which is where we get longevity. Where functional patterns really sets itself apart is that we are trying to get our capsule, the one body that we do have, to its maximum potential. So the better we're, we are at functioning in our primary function as a human, the longer we're gonna be able to do all these things as we get older. So where functional patterns really changes that for people is we focus on getting people out of pain first. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of testimonies of people who were in wheelchairs, who had severe scoliosis, severe lower back pain, and now they're living without pain. Functional patterns optimizes your quality of life and just grounds you and roots you back to being human. 